all got very excited because we are small, so we are scared also, you know. So if, if we do it first, uh, uh, if everyone come to tempa us quite the road, uh, so we, like yeah, like, <laughs> before it starts moving. <laughs> so we we thought, oh, we have a big uh, big brother at the back. So um, so we went ahead and launched it, and guess what? The the GM came to tell us that they are not ready to do it. So <laughs> so we already gone ahead, which is good, which was good. I mean, we wanted to do it anyway, regardless of whether they are going. But we thought with them coming with us, huh, that's scary, you know. So um, and we are so near, so we thought we are kind of protected. And uh, so we already gone ahead, so we cannot pull back, you know. And he only told us when we were launching it at the carnival. So <laughs> it was too late to pull back. But anyway, we went ahead. And then, so when we start, start um, doing that in our store, um, we had exactly the same thing that happened to our team. So, um, and we felt really bad, you know. Actually, the management were the first one. In fact, um, we still had a lot of plastic bags in our warehouse, but we, we wanted to do it immediately because we thought that you know we, we can work out something for the plastic bags, but we wanted the concept to go into the market because we spoke to YB Elizabeth Wong and all that, and then they say, oh, the government is very difficult and all that, so cannot rely on them, right? So we went ahead, and then uh, she said, no, we are looking into it. And um, so we invited her for the forum during the Earth Day Carnival together with... This uh, was last year, wasn't no, it? No, three years ago. Three years ago. Yeah, right. that was... Uh, yeah. So and um, so, what what happened was that um, the customer actually threw the things and say that you know I don't want to buy anymore, and uh, it's very tempting to say okay 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 you know because we do have plastic bags, <laughs> <laughs> and um, actually thanks to my team yeah they, because what we do is that every time we do a campaign right we will sell it to the team and if they say they have the um, voting power. If they vote in, yes, we go. If they vote out, we don't, you know, because it's very important to get a buy-in from the team. So they say, yes, they want to go ahead. And then even we told them that, you know, are you sure, you know, you want to have a grace period or something? They said, no, they want to do it. So we close our eyes and then, you know, and, and it happens that uh, we have a lot of customers at, during the beginning period, they just walked out, you know, and they don't even wait for you to tell them, oh, we have this bag, you can loan and all. <laughs> they just, they just uh, run out and then, um, so, and the other thing is, but that was the beginning, that was the very beginning, and thanks to the team's persistency, right, and um, in fact, uh, you know, I, I, I can't, because I, I'm not the one who faced it, but then there was once I was in a garden store, just happened to be there, and then one customer came in, and you know, what we do is that we have two options, one is loan a bag, and the other one is the carton box, you know, we have a lot of carton boxes, and we say, you know, if you don't use it, you can bring it back, right? And, or you can recycle it, we use it. And so one lady, she took out a carton box and she walked out the store and then the husband was outside waiting for her. And she was so excited, you know, she said, hey, you know this shop, huh? they don't give plastic bags. She was so happy, you know. So you have all sorts of people in the um, market. So it depends on what you what you believe in. And of course, for cold storage, it's a different story because um, they are big, right? So I, I, I know that because I um, we worked with Jasco before on a their Earth Day campaign, they invited us to be a co-organizer and um, the corporate communication team actually um, you know, had a, you know, organized a meeting with me and she asked me how did I do it, you know, so I shared with her and she said it's impossible for Jasco because the team, it will be hard to communicate this to the team so I told her that yeah, that, that is precisely what you need to do is to get the buy-in from the team and um, because the consumer will take a while to get used to it. And, but someone has to start somewhere. And the other thing is um, uh, that I'd like to share with um, you is that uh, that is something that uh, amazed me as well. When we stopped you doing this plastic bag thing, right, we did a campaign and we only have, um, you know, a few stores. So um, we thought that it's going to be a no, I mean, no, um, not much of a, you know, a publicity or something like that. But we had a call from Malaysia Plastic Association. Yeah, it's a true story. They asked to meet me. Yeah, so I went. I have a lawyer. I have a yeah, yeah, so called a corporate lawyer. <laughs> they have a corporate lawyer. They have a director from one of a very big uh, yeah something start from P, and then um, they have um, yeah four of, three or four of them, and then of course I also bring my gang uh, just in case. <laughs> The purpose of the meeting was? The purpose of the meeting is to understand why we stopped using plastic bag 
and uh, how they can help us to understand plastic bag better. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting. They did a whole presentation and we are so small, you know, just like, I mean, it's like, I'm not even just go or cold storage. So they are concerned, you know, so if you do something and then I, I, uh, I mean, of course, uh, for courtesy, we sat through the whole meeting and then at the end, I only asked them one question, they couldn't answer me. So can you tell me how I can recycle all this plastic, if I'm willing to put the gradings and everything on my plastic bags, right? Who do I go to? Because I need to go to the place and make sure that it's being recycled, not being dumped, like the pamper story, you know? They collect it and telling you that it's recyclable, but what they do is they pour it all into the landfill, right? So this is something that we, we hope that we, you know, it doesn't happen to us. And um, to today, that was like three years ago now, and I haven't heard from them. You know, if you can tell me who do I get send my recycled plastic bags to, because they told me that it's 100% recyclable and it's safe for the environment and everything. Yeah. And the other thing that I found out is uh, through my journey, <laughs> through just life journey, right? We also found out that, um, you know, before this um, this plastic bag free thing, why we went into plastic bag free thing is because before that we actually got conned into this biodegradable bags. So you know, in the market there's a lot of biodegradable bags. But correct me if I'm wrong because I'm not sure myself as well because I'm really not a technical person but from my studies and um, you know because we have people that who we can consult right in environmentalists and all that the biodegradable bags is equally bad because you know it simply add on a pigment to the plastics and then it breaks down to little tiny um, you know fragments and that becomes food for the Plankton, plankton, is that what you call it? The, the little yeah, creatures and then the fish will eat it and it goes up to the food chain, you know, and that's the one that causes a lot of um, problems in the environment as well. So, and then the, not to mention the, 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 the waste in the air and all those things, yeah. So, so when we found out about that thing, that's when we stopped using plastic bags and a lot of big companies are using that and I asked the question to the MPA as well, that, and that, that guy is supposed to be a very, uh, he's an expert, he's a chemist, biochemist, I think, he's an expert in plastic bags. And um, he, he, he mentioned to me that um, um, it is true, it's a marketing gimmick. So, but he said the market wants it, you know, they do it. So this is, this is um, so what, what I learned is that, you know, you, you don't think so much yeah? and then you just do it and then you will learn along the way and hopefully the, the learning is uh, short, getting shorter and shorter for us now because uh, we have more and more people we can ask now, we got Sumi, we have Steve, yeah. <laughs> you know, we... Oh, you have, you have Mr. Google. Yeah, yeah we have Google, I mean, but Google yeah. sometimes can be, uh, it depends who puts... <laughs> Yeah, I mean, but I mean, there's so many, there's so many uh, science now about how on, on on what people can do, what companies can do in terms of packaging and recycling and all those yeah. kinds of things. Yeah. I mean, you know, there's lots of stuff out there. That's right. There are a lot of things that we recently came back from an organic um, and green show in in Australia, and you know, people told us that the corns back, right, the corn starch bags. Yeah, we used to be told, we were told that. They use uh, corn to make it. Corn it means maize, right? Then the first thing that came into our mind is that is it GMO free and all that. So, <laughs> so a lot, of, a lot of uh, things that we need to consider. And then recently, I met um, the person who develops the product, and he showed us the, you know, of course I haven't verified that yet, but he showed us the cycle how it's made, right? It's actually made of the waste from the corn, corn, uh, the the corn starch uh, production. So it's in a way it's cradle to cradle part of it and then it's, it's like reusing the waste so um, I'm not sure about this yet you know so if anyone has more information on this we are more than happy to because we are looking for solution for our vegetables yeah. do you have a solution to me? no I was just going to bring that up even though you don't package the, your, your groceries in a plastic bag a lot of the veggies are already in plastic bags when you buy it it's not like you go to a farmer's market and everything's just laid out, you pick what you want. You know? Actually, the best, thing, the best thing that could do could happen, right, this is something that we are strongly encouraging our farmers to do it. At this stage, right, it's very difficult for them because they are like small and then, um, you know, if they do this, they can't farm and all that. We have been exploring this farmer's uh, market um, concept for a long time now and we're still, still hoping that it will happen. Because I went to a farmer's market in Australia, you know, I mean, small but you know, it's, it's like what you say, yeah? you don't need plastic bags for their produce. This is something that um, we are still 
hoping that there is an innovative technology <laughs> that can help to, you know, and what we're trying to do is to encourage our customers to come on the day that the farmers deliver the vegetables to reduce the plastic bags. But to this date, right, we still can't um, cut down 100%. Yeah, so, yeah, so like I say, we are still in the journey. <laughs> can I invite other people to ask questions? Ed? Yeah, I think it's... Okay, I'll, I'll probably get. Yeah. Okay, you're all talking about plastic bags. I mean, you're probably going to stone me for this, but I actually miss my plastic bags because uh, I'll explain. Because I need to throw my rubbish, right? And I'm so used to using my plastic bags to throw rubbish. I've tried those blue colored ones, right? Uh, small ones. And they don't work because you know things leak and all that. It doesn't doesn't work. So, what solution can I have? And I live in a condominium, so I can't like do the, the you know what do you call that the composting thing. I can't do it there. So I can't do that either. So what do I do? Uh, get in touch with the condo recycling team, Eco Warriors. Uh, I'll give you the I'll give you, and and they've got all the solutions for what you do in a condo. Thanks. <laughs> You have a question, Yangni? Yeah. Um, how do you guys dispose of your own household garbage? Okay. Um, we are still human. We have consumption as well. So the main thing, the most important things, right? That um, that uh, you know we we, we must uh, remember is that um, you do within what what you can. But I think what is important is to find out as much as you can. Like you know, do you, now you know about this eco warrior, and uh, we recycle almost everything. Um, and we, we what what we try to do is that. I live in a condominium, but we do have a little small garden, so I still do composting. And the other thing is that because um, I don't cook meat at home, so I really have very little waste. Um, so it's, if you want to have the cake and eat it, right, you have to do some changes in your lifestyle. Like, um, you know, I, I mean, when, when I look at it, um, the, the amount of waste that we created from our habits, right, so then I go for an option that is less has lesser impact so you can cut down on certain things and the other thing is to uh, of course buy less processed food that is the that's the best yeah because all these are in package we can't avoid but we try to minimize how about you Sumei? how do you get rid of your waste oh, compost so my parents played we have a it's so easy to compost <laughs> my god yeah. Yeah, separate your sort of your your waste. veggie waste and all that um, and we just, you know, because we have a back garden, just cordon off an area, chuck everything there every now and then, add some soil, turn it over, voila. Uh, and, you know, paper is separated, and sold, and everything. Like, just, I think recycling is one of the easiest things that anybody can do um, as a start. You know? And Steve, do you have a formula for your waste? I, I don't really have a formula. I mean, composting is really easy. But I mean, the, I think it's important to remember that to have a zero footprint, you need to be either dead or stay in bed. Um, and we don't want to be doing that. Uh, so... Uh, Staying in bed is not too bad. Yeah, yeah you've got to like your own company. Um, so, you know, all of us are going to have a footprint and it's up to us to, to really work out where, where the big levers are in your life uh, and, and what to do. And, uh, you know, literally, uh, you know, we're not at the beginning of, of this kind of exploration. We're really up here. So, and because we have the internet, uh, there is so, there's so much information out there, you just got to dig it out. Uh, there are lots of different options, and you just got to choose uh, whatever one that, that you want to um, you want to go for. It makes makes most sense for your life. Can you use the microphone, you mean, just to help with the recording? Um, I'm I'm I guess I'm not a very informed consumer, but I try my best to be as green as possible. But are there any sort of um, environmentalist groups or lobbying groups that are convincing our local councils to have recycling uh, facilities at our homes? Because right now, I know that if I want to recycle, 
I have to separate my trash and where possible I have to go to TMC Bangsa, there's a recycling 